Hey, Fitzone, how we doing? Hope everyone's doing well today. Um, here comes another workout at home zone exercise session number two. I can't even talk right now. But uh, today's workout, again, focusing on a lot of body weight exercises. Not a lot of equipment is needed other than yourself and some open space. So uh, uh, right now in a little bit, I'll pan the camera and show you the workout. But again, if you can't see it on the blackboard, it's fine. I'm going to put it on the description of the video. Okay. So again, hope you guys like today's workout. Um, and before we start the workout, of course, there'll be another segment where we're going to warm up. Okay. So stay tuned. There's today's workout in all of its nasty glory. Excuse my penmanship. I have really bad writing, um, but I'm a typer. So, anyways, that's today's workout. Again, kind of similar like last um, last uh, last week's or last sessions. Uh, five circuits. Each circuit will have three exercises. Each exercise you'll do for a minute, and you'll do one exercise. Okay, one exercise, and then you move on to the next and then you move on to the next to complete each circuit, okay? So again, each, cir uh, each exercise for a minute, okay? And, and then each circuit has three exercises. You perform all those three exercises consecutively before you move on to the next circuit, okay? Don't worry if you can't see it. I'll have a nicely typed version of this workout in the description. All right, so before we start the workout, we gotta warm up. So find yourself an open space. You're not gonna need much. All you're really gonna need today is a nice little that. Something soft if you're working on hardwood flooring. I have that grass, but you can use a yoga mat, you can use a blanket, you can use a beach towel, whatever. Okay, just find something that you can uh, comfortably lie down on and put your hands down on. Okay, and you might need something that's gonna that you're gonna need. You're gonna need something to elevate your feet. I have a nice little bench, but if you don't have a bench, use a chair, use a step, use anything that is properly secure and that won't injure you. Okay. Uh, to for an exercise that we're going to do today. Uh, but here we go. Before we start, we're going to warm up. So before we start, first one we're going to do hip rotations. We're rotating in, okay, getting the hip nice and warm. Okay, we're going to do that for ten on each side. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, my God, I forgot that whole rhythm. It's okay. We're going to go over to 
the hips back. Walk the hands out. Little T spine. And then from here, lunge forward. Open up. Push that leg up. Lunge forward with the other side. Push that. circuit one, we're going to have alternating lunges, and then we're going to do what's called a single leg deadlift with a hop. And then after that second exercise, we're going to finish off circuit one with burpees, okay? So, again, you don't need any equipment, but if you're fortunate enough to have any of this stuff, okay, if you have a kettlebell, if you have a dumbbell, if you have water jugs, if you have water gallons, I've been using one, uh, one gallon uh, water, water gallons at home that I have. They have handles on them. I've been using them. Use your environment to your advantage. Just make sure that it's safe and that it's not going to hurt you. It's not going to fall on you. Okay? But if you have a kettlebell, okay, you can do alternating lunges. All right? Have the weight on the side that you're going to lunge forward with and then come back. That was really sloppy, so let me try that again. Lunge forward and come back. Okay? Now, there's a few ways that you can alternate. Okay? You can either lunge forward or you can lunge back. I like lunging back. Feels better on my knees. Okay? But, little side view. You're here. You bring one foot back, keep all the weight on that forward leg, and then come up. Okay? No weight should be on that back leg. Okay? So, some of you, if you complain about pain in the knee behind you, that's because you're, you're shifting your weight backwards. So instead of doing this, where all your weight is forward, you're probably shifting all your weight back. Okay? And if you start losing your balance, like I did right now, that is a key feedback telling you that the exercise is probably something wrong. Okay? If you don't want to do if, if you don't want to do backwards, okay, you can just lunge forward. Okay? Do whatever you want. Whatever feels comfortable for you. Either forward or back, it doesn't matter. Going to be an alternating lunge. Now, the reason why we're alternating is because we're going to do this exercise for a minute, okay? So instead of just focusing on one leg for 30 seconds and then doing the other, just alternate, okay? Take care of both legs within those 30 seconds. So here we go, pretending, I'm just going to uh, go over it, but a lunge for a minute, okay? I'm doing back lunges. If you have a weight, you can grab those weights, hold them in front of you. Okay? If you don't have weight, that's fine. Your body weight. After you do the lunges, the second exercise for circuit one is called a single leg deadlift. So I'm going to show you the side here. But you're going to be on one leg. You're going to push your hips back. Then your back is nice and straight. And then from here, you're going to hop. Okay? And you're hopping on that same leg that you're deadlifting, that you're single leg deadlifting. I have my left foot down, and then from there, hop. Okay? And as I hop, I'm bringing this knee up, keeping it there, don't let it touch the ground. If you lose your balance, catch yourself. Okay? But again, you start in this position, 
Good. Hinging. And then from there, hop with that same leg. Take your time. Do not rush that one. Especially don't rush this one. Take your time. Now, I recommend alternating, just like we did with the lunges. So, do one leg. All right, stick the landing. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to the other side. Switch the line. Now you might say, wow, that was easier on my right side than on my left. That's okay, we're all stronger on one side. You might notice that you're weaker on one side, but that's okay. Okay, that's why we're doing this. So single leg, we're isolating, hinging, pop. All right, stick the landing, take your time, go up the other. Pop, stick the landing, okay? That was single leg to hop. Now, after that burpees, again, I'm gonna show you the traditional burpee, and slow, hands are down, kick the feet out. You can do a push up if you want, kick the legs in, hop, okay? Or, if you're not ready for the burpees, you can do a beginner burpees where you're here, practicing this form, hop. There's no hop. Okay, practice that, and then as you get stronger, and if you're new to the burpee, then add the hop, okay? Or alternate, doesn't matter. Use each one. You can do a harder uh, variation of the burpee, or you can do the, the, the beginner one that I just showed you, okay? After that, that will conclude circuit one, and then there's circuit two. For circuit two, you're gonna need something to put your hands on. The, uh, the next exercise we're gonna do are dips, where you're doing the triceps. But make sure that your back is close to the bench or whatever you're using, okay? Now, if you have a straight leg version like that, it's going to be harder, but I like doing it this way because it evenly distributes my body weight and it doesn't put too, strain, too much strain on my shoulder, okay? So chest up, drop down, okay, come up. Okay, pressing up, okay? Coordinate. Okay, if it gets too hard, Back off, take a little breather, and then do it again when you're ready. Yeah? Doing that for a minute. You're probably thinking, wow, that's easy. Just give it a minute, okay? Especially since we're doing two exercises following each other, they're working out the same muscle group, you're gonna feel it after a while, okay? Then after this one, the next one you're gonna do, you're gonna get in a plank, and it's called plank lateral raise. This is a favorite of mine. I got it from uh, one of my favorite strength coaches on YouTube. His name is Jeff Cavalier. He is the deal. He's my favorite uh, fitness uh, fitness guru. I think he's a fitness guru. But what you do, you get in a plank. You'll be working out the shoulder blades. Get you here. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna bring yourself up like that. At a 90 degree angle. And it should resemble the same muscle action as when you do a lateral raise. We're only working in this plane, okay? But you're here, taking your time, okay? Working on shoulder stability, getting some rotator cuff action in here, trapezius, rhomboids, shoulder blade, not shoulder blade, shoulder blade is long. Woo! Deltoid muscle, shoulder muscle. Now, if you're like, oh, I, gotta, I gotta make this harder, man, this is too easy, that's fine. Do the lateral raise on both sides, and then do a push up. Okay? So, again, if this is too easy, and you want something harder, do the lateral raise. Get in a push up position, and do that, and that bet. Start here, 
I'm gonna jump towards you. I'm here. Bro, jump. That's as far as I can jump, and then I back down. And then do that again. Alright. Here we go. Stick the landing. Whoop! Trip. Back pedal. Here. Alright. Back pedal. Take your time. Don't rush. Alright, you rush, you get hurt. Take your time. Alright? So again, here, hands here. You can push your hands back as you jump. Bring them forward, back pedal. Alright? You don't need that much. Probably, I'm probably jumping three feet there. Okay? Nothing close to the NFL players or an Olympian for that matter. Now, after the broad jump, that will conclude circuit two, and then you're gonna move on to circuit three. Circuit three is gonna include a single leg hip thruster, then we're gonna follow it up with a single leg squat, and then in and outs, okay? Not the burger, in and outs, don't confuse it. Although an in and out burger sounds really good right now. Now, Start off nice and 
slow. So if you, if you have to, okay, start off nice and slow. Start out, in, like that. And then, as you get better, increase the speed. Okay? We'll work at it. It's all about a pattern. In, in, out, in, in, out. It's all in the barriers. I'll kill for an in and out burger right now. But, circuit four. I'll be push up. Told you, push ups are gonna come up. Push up, plank up. Okay? So, we did plank ups, I think, last session. Now, for this one, we're combining them both. So, get in a push up position. Okay? You press up, and then you come down on those elbows. You come up, lower yourself down, come up again on the other hand. Okay? Make sure when you plank up, you come up with the right hand and then the left. Okay? So I'll show you in front of you. Again, push up, come down. I'm going to push up with my right hand. I'm going to come down, and I'm going to push up with my left hand. Okay? After you've done two, uh, those two plank ups, then you go back into the push up again. And then you repeat that process. Now you're thinking, Eric, help me out here. If that's too hard, you can still do that same pattern in a modified position. Okay, you can still participate. Push up, bring those elbows down. Okay, and give it time, trust me. After a minute, your arms are going to be burning, your chest is going to be burning, your triceps are going to be giving out from under you. Okay? And then after that, we're going to finish off with a T-spine lift, okay? So the first exercise is a push-up plank for second four, and then the second exercise is a T-spine, but with a twist. You're going to T-spine, and then you're going to lift, whoo, let try that again. You're going to T-spine and leg lift. Now take your time, T-spine. And lift the leg. So you should be like a light nice little star. Okay? You're gonna be wobbly. You're gonna shake. Take your time. Don't rush this one. As you guys saw at the beginning, I almost lost my balance. Woo! That needs to look a lot of you. Oh yeah. That's called a book from Joe. Alternating crunches, leg lifts, and then Superman bananas. Alright, so here we go. Alternating crunches. Show you a side view. Okay. Or I'll show you a front view. Over here. 
here. Uh, feet or legs, shoulder width apart. You're going to come up, lift one leg, alternating. So right hand, the left leg, chest is coming up. Alright, just to show you a side view, to show you what my back looks like. circuits and I'll have the exercise for each circuit okay and I'll tell you the rules instructions and so forth okay again I hope you guys like today's workout please email me um, I'll put my email at the description as well for any feedback that you guys might have for me again today's workout I didn't use any equipment other than just that bench really but all the exercises are body weight and trust me that's all you really need when it comes to body weight you can do a lot of challenging exercises with just yourself alone. You don't need fancy equipment. But if you have it, stay tuned because if you guys give me that feedback that I'm looking for and I get an idea of what kind of stuff you guys have at home, then future workouts, I'll plan, uh, I'll plan sessions based upon what I think everyone has at home and then if I have it here, I'll implement it into the, into the videos, okay? But for now, I'm strictly going to be using body weight exercises or things that you can do at home where it doesn't require equipment until I get an idea that I can use equipment. Okay? So, again, thank you. Hope you guys liked today's workout. Again, leave us some feedback and I'll see you guys next week. Alright, Fit Zone.